Welcome. And I believe we are live. We're going to have to do an audio check. Hopefully, after the disaster that was yesterday, I think we got our audio to work. Hold on. Let me do a quick... Let me do a quick test real quick. Oh, we gotta load up the app here. But if all goes according to plan, according to my meters, everything's working. We can actually bring you college football today. Can you believe it? How lucky we would be. Let's see, we are uh, for the app to load. Let's test this. Of the app wants to take forever. Hey, we got 56 followers. All right, let's see. Yes. We have audio. We have game audio. We have microphone audio. We have game audio. Let me bring the audio down a little bit here. Okay. So, now we can actually play college football. We're going to play it here today. Hopefully, this stream will work a lot better. So, what I did is, uh, after doing a bunch of research, I finally found somebody, I think it was on Reddit or what have you, that said that the reason we weren't getting game audio is because on the settings on the Xbox 360, you had to change it from digital to stereo or something like that. I had never heard of that. I'd never had uh, done anything like that before. And we are also streaming on OBS now. We were using the Twitch application before, and the game was all stuttery and... Um, on the replay, it wasn't even able to. I wasn't even able to upload it yesterday. It was basically a disaster. The game was unwatchable. This hopefully sounds and looks a million times better. We're gonna keep monitoring it as we go along, but hopefully this will look a lot better. So, just to recap, because everything that we did yesterday didn't save properly or didn't go out properly, this is our Utah Utes dynasty. You guys that have been fans of my old YouTube channel, we know the, the great YouTube purge of 2021 RIP. We lost all that footage. However, all the stats, the records, everything from the past 19 seasons, the record books are all up on our Patreon page, TB Sports 27 on Patreon. So if you want to get caught up, if you want to see what's been going on, that's all up there. That is all on Patreon. So what we're going to call this is this is going to be stream number one, even though this obviously is an episode number one. Since we're kind of starting a new era, we're doing it the stream era. We're no longer just making videos for YouTube. This is stream number one. Although, as you can see, 2031, this is season 19. We can do a, a quick recap. We did that in the last episode of all the footage that didn't make it. So... We started off our first year. We were with the Wyoming Cowboys, head coach, first job. The next year, we got offered an immediate contract from the defending national champions. Florida State won the national title with Jameis Winston. They offered us a job after one year at Wyoming to be the defensive coordinator at Florida State. We went to Florida State, and we helped them win a national title. We beat Marshall in that national championship game. And again, you can check out all that stuff the the stat books and all that stuff is uploaded at patreon so you can get caught up on but this is after we did one year in florida state so this is year three we did one year in wyoming one year in florida state here you go obviously you see what we had to rebuild we were taking a team that was winning five six four games this is our first year seven and six one las vegas bowl then immediately year two brandon cox won the heisman won the national championship won the pac-12 then, you know, you get seniors and all that. We dip down a little bit, go 10-3. and three. We win the Alamo Bowl, beat Kansas State. 2018, no conference title, no bowl win. We went to the Sun Bowl, lost to North Carolina. Bounced back with a Pac-12 championship, 11-3. and three. And we went to the Rose Bowl, we lost to Illinois. The next year, slumped a bit again. We went to the Mako Bowl. We played the San Jose State Spartans, and we beat them. Following year, 10-3, and three, went to the Mako Bowl again, San Jose State, and beat them again. All those scores, all those old stats up at Patreon, the incomplete Utah Utes stat book is up there. You see our career record at the top of the screen, 192 and 42, our career 16 seasons at Utah, 183 and 37, not too bad. All right, the next year, 13-1, and one, we went to the Rose Bowl. We defeated, it was Army, I believe, Army or Illinois or 
somebody we defeated. Then the next year, Fiesta Bowl. That was Baylor, 12-2. and two. Then we had our next national championship year. Folks didn't think it was ever going to happen again. We won way back in 2016. Then we kind of slumped and we built our way back up national championship. Follow that up with an 11-3 year, the Rose Bowl appearance, and we got the win there. The next year went back to the national championship. So we got three to our resume. We went to the Rose Bowl, won the Rose Bowl. In 2028, that was the first year we did the college football playoff. We have the Horizon app, and there's a way you can kind of, I don't know if hack is the right word, but you can kind of manipulate the game to do a college football playoff thanks to some brilliant minds. And uh, you can use this Horizon program, and uh, I forget what the guy's names are. I know the program is Horizons. I don't remember the guys that put this... The, the college football playoff together. But you use a flash drive and you use all that fun stuff. And we're going to try to keep that going. So college football playoff right there. We went and we lost to Army in the first round. So there you go. Then we went to the Big 12. Made the jump to the Big 12. We kind of manipulated and changed things around. We're doing the super conferences. We're doing five super conferences of 16 teams. And we made the jump to the Big 12. Our first year, didn't win a bowl game. But we followed that up. We didn't win the the Big 12 last season, but we won the Fiesta Bowl. We beat a very good Ohio State team. I was actually kind of surprised we did as well as they, we did. And now we are 2-0 and this season. As you can see, the, the run we've been on since 2022, I mean, it's been, you know, how many conference championships? We won one, two three four five six seven eight conference championships including from 2024 to 2029 just a streak here of six conference titles in a row and since 2022 it's been rose bowl fiesta bowl national championship rose bowl national championship rose bowl and fiesta bowl um i mean it's been quite quite the journey and we've been in the big game and in these two losses here these were rose bowl appearances so, yeah, I, uh, I think Minnesota was this one here, and then this was the loss to Army as part of the college football playoff. So, and then this was the, uh, I think the Illinois Rose Bowl loss right there. So, we've had our fair share of losses. We've also won three Rose Bowls. We've won three national titles. We've won two Fiesta Bowls, and we're keeping things going. They ranked us number one coming into this season. I was a little surprised at that. And our big name, our starting quarterback, Andrew Cross, the highest recruit we've ever had, even with all that. We've never had a quarterback this highly touted, this high recruit coming out of high school. The first year wasn't terrible. Obviously, you see what we did. We won 11 games, went to a Fiesta Bowl, beat Ohio State, but he was a little inaccurate on some of his throws. This year, sophomore year, he's playing much better. He's doing much, much, much better if I do say so. So uh, should we look, I don't want to get too crazy in depth because we kind of did a little bit of that in the last stream and now I'm kind of repeating myself, but it obviously didn't work, but we'll take a look at the, the super conferences. So we do the four team playoff and we have the super conferences. So a quick look at them right here, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest. This is the ACC, North Carolina, Florida International. They've been a powerhouse. You can see rank number 13th that's why they made the jump to the ACC then you got the normal names here Georgia State out of Atlanta making the ACC move you got Middle Tennessee there and Western Kentucky and Troy part of the ACC in the American which has also become a big power conference almost like a, a big east in a way you got Navy number seven in the nation Maryland who switched from the Big Ten over here USF UCF Buffalo, Syracuse, and it says like the Big East, Syracuse, Boston College, Pitt, all joining the American. You can almost call them the Big East. West Virginia is here, Marshall, Ohio, Rutgers, East Carolina, Old Dominion, Army, and Connecticut, part of the new American. The Big 12, this is where we are. Colorado, man, 4-0. They kind of worry us a little bit. That that was our punching bag. There, We always play them at the end of the year. It's always game number 12, Colorado, and, man, they're actually really good this year. That could be frightening because we always get to beat them up easily at the end of the season. They're 4-0. 
Texas. We've had our issues with them over the uh, last two seasons. You can see they're ranked number three here. Oklahoma ranked number four. What a tough conference. BYU bringing back some Mountain West memories. We also got Air Force. Houston, here's Utah. So it's a bit of a mix. This Big 12 is like the Big 12 and the Mountain West kind of combined. You got Texas Tech, Baylor, Nebraska switching back to the Big 12. Missouri, Kansas State, North Texas. We had Denton in the Big 12. TCU, Kansas, and Oklahoma State, our new Big 12. The Big 10 here, which consists of 16 teams because we're doing power conferences uh, we just started that two seasons ago when we did the college football playoff. Wisconsin, Iowa, Penn State, Cincinnati made the jump to the Big Ten. Central Michigan, they had a national championship run a couple of years ago. They played Texas, and you can see the results and the score of that national championship game on our Patreon page. Look for the Utah stat book. It's all up there. So Central Michigan making the Big Ten jump from there. Purdue, Indiana, Northwestern, Michigan State, Minnesota, Northern Illinois. That's right in the Big Ten. Iowa State, Illinois, Ohio State, Michigan, and Bowling Green, who had a couple of New Year's Six bowl runs the last few years. So people that have been following us for a while, they're familiar with this um, dynasty and everything even though it's going to be labeled on youtube as stream number one because technically it is going to be stream number one folks have been watching this series for quite a while conference usa now we're getting into our group of five conferences smu utsa utep rice umass tulsa and texas state the independence of course notre dame can't get those guys to join a conference get out of here the mac miami of ohio they uh went to the college football playoff last season the only undefeated team they were ranked number one in the country and they went to the college football playoff got oklahoma in the first round you can go over to patreon and see how that turned out and you can see the rest of the mac teams there in the mountain west wyoming utah state new mexico state unlv idaho new mexico state and colorado state the pac-12 which is a mix of the Mountain West and the Pac-12, Washington, Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State, Cal, Nevada, Boise, Arizona State, San Jose State, Fresno State, Washington State, Arizona, Hawaii, USC, UCLA, and San Diego State, and this SEC. Most of the names you're already going to know, South Carolina, Tennessee, but thrown in there, Southern Miss, it's another Mississippi team to the SEC, LSU, Memphis, making the jump to the SEC, Arkansas, Auburn, Mississippi State, Arkansas State, Alabama, Florida, Vandy, Georgia, Ole Miss, Kentucky, and Texas A&M. And finally, your Sun Belt, the names that you all know, that you all love from the Sun Belt Conference. So this is going to be game number three. Unfortunately, the two games that we already filmed uh, aren't watchable. I mean, I can upload the video if you want, but it's literally all stutter, 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 stutter and it's terrible quality you can't even watch it so stats so far up to this year you got bill bradford in the backfield andrew cross at quarterback and for utah you can see we've done the first two games perfection i you know can't ask for much better than that 34 7 and then the 56 nothing i'm kind of sad we're lost both these games because of a, a dominating performance i was kind of proud of how our team did there not a bad schedule. I'm going to say Nebraska is probably the hardest game on the schedule. And they've already lost. They were highly ranked last week, and then they lost. So it's really Nebraska, and you got uh, Colorado down there at the bottom. So for us coming into this thing, ranked number one in the nation, we got a we got a good thing coming. So yeah, I'm uh, excited to bring this to you because Utah's been one of my good teams for. You know, we're kind of building things with the, the Denver Broncos, the Diamondbacks, still a work in progress, the Detroit Red Wings, still a big work in progress. But um, hopefully you guys can still enjoy it, the fact that now we're streaming and we are going to be starting with Season 19. I thought about starting over, knowing that we are going to switch to streaming after the, the great YouTube purge happened. And... I thought about starting over, but I was like, man, I got such a good thing going with with this team, and they're so dominant. I feel like there's there's a lot more to win. Like, there's a lot more in this, so I didn't want to start all over. You decide what unis they want to wear here. Gray, stealth, blue. Which ones do you like? I kind of like the that with the... Uh, I don't like the gray for Air Force there. 
Ooh, they got navy in there. I think we'll, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the lightning bolts. There's some bolts right there. That's kind of cool. How about that? The black and blue? Yeah, I like that. I've always said black and blue is an underrated look. We got gray. We got Thunderbird. Should we go stealth with it? Why the heck not? Let's just go crazy. They want to they wanna dress up for Utah. So let's do this thing. So yeah, as I was saying, hopefully you guys don't mind that if you're watching us on YouTube or obviously if you're on Twitch, you're kind of just joining us anyway, so it doesn't matter. But for the folks on YouTube, hopefully you don't mind that we're just jumping into this thing and right off on season 19. But that's kind of the cards we've been dealt. And I thought about starting starting over from scratch, but you know the new game is going to be coming out in another year or two. And so I was like, well, do I really want to start over knowing that the new game is going to be coming out and we'll be starting over anyway? So why not just take this coach? We're in season 19, maybe do this another three or four or five years, and by then the new game will be coming out, and there you go. All righty. So we're loading. You can see our defense has been absolutely dominant, as judging by the scores. Oh, we got rain in the forecast. That's not good. How is uh how's our our young quarterback gonna react to that? He's only a sophomore. We were watching AEW Dynamite before we jumped on, but I was having issues with my stream, so I was like, you know what? We'll just catch the rest of it later. We'll play some football, and I'm glad I finally got this to work with the game audio and everything, and hopefully I'm going to keep checking. It doesn't look stuttery. And if this works, then that means we can bring you Blitz the League. We can do all pro football. We can do arena football. There are so many possibilities. So let us know what you want to see. You can do that, of course, over at Patreon. Become a super fan or a mega fan. And you have the power to say what you want to watch. You can watch arena football every week. Good. And go on there and request it. Say, I want arena football every week. And you got it. All right. Here we go. Utah Air Force. Well, Mountain West rivals getting back together. But this is a Big 12 game. Big 12 conference game. First conference game of the season. I don't know if there's a smoke. Yeah, it's like cold day too. Early on in the college football season, we're going to let our, our top-ranked defense get out on the field first. We'll always kick it deep. So here we go. First road game of the year, too. McPherson booting it deep. And Frederick knees it. Probably heard me do an echo. I was just doing a test. It's actually going out normal. There's no stutter. There's no nothing. It actually looks beautiful today, which is great. So here we go. Gibbons on the first play to throw it and knocked away by Ben Jackson. So the, the Utah defense already hyped up right now. Keep putting that pressure on, fellas. Oh, we got a flag. I think it's on them. It is. So Air Force. First play incomplete. Second play. They're backing up five. We're intimidating them a little bit. Number one ranked in the nation. 19 years of building this team up. Well, technically 17, but quick pass out to Paul Cohen. And Cohen is brought down, so third and long for the Air Force Falcons. We're going to bring a blitz on them because we got a pretty hefty defense right here. And we want to bring the pressure. We trust our defense. Oh, look at this. They tried to set up for the screen, and they nailed it. Yep. The blitz ate us up on that one. There goes Butler. My goodness. Well, that hurt us. That definitely hurt us. 
The Blitz cost us that time. But one of our calling cards, again, if you've been following us for quite some time, our calling card has been our defensive line. We've uh, It's not uncommon to have players that have 19, 20, 20 plus sacks a season on the line. And you can see most of those stats. We didn't keep stats for every single season, but most of the recent seasons, you can check those stats out over on Patreon in the Utah stat book. Those are all up there. So they're going to hand it off to Butler on this play. And seven yard carry for LaShawn Butler. Third down and three for the Falcons. And Gibbons is going to run it, and he will have the first down. That was something that Colorado State was trying quite a bit last week with their quarterback. They were, like, running the ball on every play, and it wasn't working well for them. We uh, beat them up. You could try to watch that. The replay is up on Twitch. I'm not going to upload it to YouTube because it's awful, but it, uh, I didn't realize how bad the stream was going out because on my computer, it was playing fine. And when I was looking on the app, I noticed it looked stuttery, but I asked the people in the chat, I said, does it look bad? And no one said anything. But then when I went to upload it to YouTube, it was like, it was so choppy and so bad. So it ain't even worth watching. So this will go down as stream number one in the Utah Dynasty record books here. I mean, we got to stop Air Force. We've only given up one touchdown all year. The Dottie in there. David Dottie. Third and three. Can our defense hold him? Do we blitz him again? Do we take a chance? We're going to take a chance, right? We're number one in the country for a reason. Get us to the college football playoff, which we do plan to keep doing. I don't know how I'm going to do it with live stream. I've never done it live stream before. But it's with the flash drive. You save the file on the flash drive. Then you open up this uh, Horizon program and follow all the steps. And you can even change some of the bowl games around. And that's how we were able to make the rule. We do have the rule, much like in real life, where the top-ranked group of five team automatically gets a bid to a New Year's Six Bowl. So it was Miami of Ohio both years. The first year, Miami of Ohio went to, I believe it was the Peach Bowl. And they played Miami of Florida and got beat. And then last year, they went to the college football playoff. And all the results of all those New Year's Six games for the last 19 years or so. Say it with me. It's over at Patreon, TV Sports on Patreon. So Newton on the kick return. And uh, last stream was the first time I had played this game in months and months. Because after the great... YouTube purge happened. I kind of stopped playing this game because I couldn't really stream. And then once I got the new capture card, I was like, oh, now I can stream this game. I kind of forgot how good and how fluid this game is. And I was kind of talking about that a little bit on the last stream that I think I am and a lot of people are kind of nervous because, you know, we have our thoughts and we've shared as we've streamed what we think about the, the Madden games of this day. And if we want to play the NFL game that's what we got that's what we're stuck with and the Madden team has kind of been tasked from what we've heard with making the new college football game which means the Madden staff is now making two games and they were already struggling to put one game out in my opinion and most of our opinions now they got to put out two games and we just want the new college football game to be good and as I was saying in the last stream man this game is so fluid it's so fun. I forgot how much fun it is. Look at the blockers actually making blocks, which doesn't really happen a lot in Madden. There's one play in the Colorado State game where we went down the field and the blockers actually followed the running back and made blocks down the field. And I'd been playing Madden for so long. I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen that in a year, in the longest time, in months. I forgot what that was like, so. It's just so fluid, so so good. The catching, the throwing. I mean, it helps when you're also number one ranked in the country. But Jermaine Cox, he had a big game last week. And you're seeing Andrew Cross. Again, that's the, the highest ranked, the recruited quarterback that we've had in Utah history. 
Think of all the national title teams and all the quarterbacks we've had come and go. No one came in freshman year highly ranked, highly touted as Andrew Cross. And when we were thinking about, you know, we were thinking about making the jump or even retiring our coach. Look at that pass. Um, just because we had done so much. We had won so many Pac-12 titles. We were playing the same teams, the Pac-12 teams. What, you know, what more was there to do? And then when we landed Andrew Cross, it was like, okay, this four years. You know, we can we can make something happen. We can make some wild runs. And then we made the jump to the Big 12 just to kind of switch things up a, little, get a bit. Oof. Price got driven back. We've had a couple interesting job offers. I hope the coaching carousel is something that makes it into the new college football game as well because that's a fantastic and that's what kind of led me to exploring playing with other teams I'd always just coach my favorite team but after I got a taste of coaching carousel now whenever I do a football a hockey a baseball I don't just pick my favorite team my goodness I always misread that I wasn't expecting him to cut outside like that um because of coaching carousel it's really made me want to play with other teams like just pretend like you get hired so that's been fun and that's all because of the college football game interesting job offers we've gotten over the years and ones we nearly took as look at this we got a wide open wide receiver zach smith we had the lsu job come up a couple of years ago and we almost took it we were very 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 close to taking the lsu job the reason we didn't lsu was too in 10 the year before and we were coming off of our run of rose bowl fiesta bowl national champ all that stuff look at that touchdown nick odom and how weird would it have been like what you know a nick saban uh who's won national championships lately a kirby smart you know all these coaches they don't leave powerhouse programs even though lsu probably has you know nicer facilities maybe a little more money to throw around than a utah you know, do you ever see coaches leave a run of going to a New Year's Six every year for a 2-10 and ten team, no matter who it is? Oklahoma getting the beat down put on them. Look at that score. 56 to 28. Houston all over Oklahoma. My goodness. So that's what deterred me away. If LSU had a better record, I probably would have gone to LSU a couple of years ago. But to leave a powerhouse that was going to the New Year's Six every year for a rebuilding project... It wasn't in the works there. And then the next one, a couple of years ago, that was super interesting, and I almost did it, but I ultimately didn't, was Georgia Tech. They just finished a 15-0 and year. They won the national championship. They won the college football playoff, and their coach retired. He was, you know, of old age. He retired, and the job offer immediately came to me. And I was like, man, to go coach a 15-0 and team? And I thought about it, and I really thought about it, and... Ultimately, I, f I, was, I just wanted to stick with Utah. I don't know what it was. I just I stuck with Utah. So, um, there you go. That's my stories, and I'm sticking to it. But let's get back to the action. We'll see, depending on how well this goes. We might do uh, two games here. Get through season 19. Air Force 3, Utah 7. Well, Mountain West rivals getting together again as part of the Big 12, the new Big 12, the revamped Big 12. We didn't have super conferences until a couple of seasons ago when we figured out how we can do the college football playoff. Then we kind of decided, well, you know what? Let's just do the five main, or I guess technically we have six main conferences now because we have the five big ones and we made the American one of our top conferences. So... It's kind of like the Big East. So I guess it's really group of four and power six. Gibbons is on the run. And this is uh, some of the best offensive output we've seen against our Utah defense so far. That we've seen out of Air Force, these two drives. They got our, they got our guys, their heels dug in here. Harper Collins and stuff there. Gibbons coming out of the gun. It's going to be the option play, and he hits Butler, and it will be a first down for Butler. Air Force continuing to move it well. B 
you guys remember my old Troy dynasty. Gosh, remember how that one went. We're going to start uploading those old ep episodes to Patreon as well. Those were saved. All the, uh, the original videos from back in the day, those I had saved on a hard drive. The newer stuff didn't get saved in the great YouTube purge. So we're re-uploading all that stuff onto YouTube unlisted. And we're putting it up on Patreon. So if you're hankering for that old stuff, BCS playoffs, the Troy stuff, Right now we're uploading our Denver Broncos from Madden 12. Check that all out on Patreon over there. And when our Patreon subscribers starts to grow, we'll start doing some more, some exclusive content. Right now the Patreon stuff is just for historic purposes. Oh my goodness, uh, I jumped on that one. Historic purposes and for fan requests. But we'll start doing more, you know, maybe like Q&A streams or... Uh, exclusive, you know, Patreon exclusive streams and all that fun stuff once we get more subscribers built up over there. But right now, it's not a high enough fan base to warrant doing that because we'd just be doing it for a very small selection of people. We want to get all the lovelies involved in it. So we held them again. That's, look at our defense, right? That's what I'm talking about. Are they going to go for it? Are they going to kick a field? 125 yards. They are outpacing our guys offensively. And that's the end of quarter number one. And they are going to go for it. How about it? How about Air Force? No field goal here. They got number one pushed back. The give to Butler. He's not going to make it. Utah Utes brick wall. Butler goes down. And it's a turnover. All right. Let's get some more points on the board. First and 10. Pitching outside to Bill Bradford. Look at that block. Oh, Bradford tried to juke. Couldn't make it happen. Bill Bradford. We've had a couple of great running backs. So our early years, not so much our later years, but our early years of our Utah coaching dynasty. We had a Heisman Trophy winning running back. We had guys who were rushing for 2,000 yards out there. It was really early on. We haven't had many of those great running backs as of late. We've had good receivers, though. I'll say that. Second down and five. Play fake by Cross. Oh. And see, that's part of the issue of Cross, man. That should have been a completed pass. I think he underthrew that a little bit. Rewind it back if you're on YouTube. That uh, probably should have been a, a completed cast, but the underthrows, the, you know, Andrew Cross, he's not perfect. We had those issues freshman year. He's a true sophomore right now. So, but that one was right. It was real good. I'll take that. Jerome Perry. That one was right on the mark. And he is thrown in the rain, I do suppose. So, there's a little bit of that to consider. Five of seven, though. First two weeks for Cross have been very good. And, again, I'm staying critical of a guy that led us to an 11-win season of Fiesta Bowl. But it wasn't perfect. There were definitely some frustrations and we were definitely squeaking by on games that we shouldn't have been squeaking by on we've had a couple of those kind of games over our dying school go look at some of those old scores at patreon the old dominion series was wild the texas state series got a little crazy at some point too bowling green knocked us off troy knocked us off a couple years ago before they joined the acc Third down and one. Oh, what happened there? That was supposed to be a fullback handoff, and it was a, a busted up play. The fullback just he took off on us. He didn't take the ball, but Andrew Cross, who's not a mobile quarterback, he had to do it himself. DIY. Give to Bradford right up the middle, and Bradford is chased down. 
But what a monster run. Look at the, that's what I'm talking about. That number 72. When have you ever seen that in Madden recently? The blockers making those kind of plays. You ain't going to see that in Madden 20, in Madden 21. That's why I, uh, I got, oh, I was loving this game when I was playing it yesterday. I'm glad the stream and everything is working today. It's a beautiful. And this time it's Aaron Price in the game. And Price didn't really go anywhere on it. Bunch of lengthy drives, no punts yet in this one. Both offenses have been moving the ball well. First road game of the year for the Utes. Cross, oh, just trying to get rid of it and we were clicking and clacking at the button and it didn't throw it. And Cross gets brought down. That just gives us more room to make that touchdown pass, right? Third and goal for Utah. Back at the 21. Cross dropping back. Look at this. Caught by Odom. About a yard shy. And you know what? We're number one in the nation. Yeah, look at that. The game's already telling us. We're going for it. Fourth and goal. Here we go. Big boy football up front. Touchdown. No problem. Bill Bradford scores. And the Utah Utes take a 13-3 lead. Dun, 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 dun. Extra point is good. My goodness, Oklahoma, number four in the nation, defeated by Big 12 rival Houston. They're all in the Big 12. And maybe Houston's going to be wondering, where's our ranking now? Stacked line here for Air Force, looking like a running play. And it is, and our guys knew that all the way. Our defensive line, that's one thing that's never waned over the seasons. We've had you know, some rough quarterback play. We've, the running game hasn't been as strong. Our defensive line has been the calling card of our Utah team over the past 17 seasons. One of the best in college football. Go look at some of those scores on Patreon. Look at all the shutouts that we've had over the years. And that's because of our defensive line. And there's a reason. I mean, I was shocked coming into this season to see, wow, we're ranked number one. Not Ohio State. Not Oklahoma, who is the defending national champions who just got beat. Not Miami of Ohio, who was ranked number one most of last year. No, Utah. Look at our defensive line again. Eddie Gibbons goes down. Lee Anderson. Just look at put forcing his will. Looking like Dwight Freeney back there. There were three guys back there. Oh, my God. Let's keep this going. I don't want anyone to get to double digits. It doesn't look like the Georgia defense out there. Just shut these guys down all year. Newton fielding it. And he'll only get one yard when it's all said and done. Three and a half to go in quarter number two. Utah leading Air Force here. It's 14 to three. And Odom can't hang on to it. Cross, is he injured? Or is he just slow to get up? Oops, hit the wrong button there. Uh, nope, Cross is okay. He's back in there, so. He, he was slow to get up, but he just took a, a rough hit. Second and ten. The give right up the middle to Bradford. And Bradford got five yards on that carry. Hard five yards from Bill Bradford. All right, third and five for the Utes. Did not mean to double tap the A button, but we did. 
We completed it, but not enough for the first down. So we're going to go for it. And I double tapped it again. So I guess we're just going to go with this play, which is a run play. But I'm okay with that. You got Bradford back there. Oh, he didn't make it. No. Turnover on downs. The blocking. It'd be nice. He didn't throw a block. He kind of shoved the defender right into Bradford. Well, that was a disaster. Playing with the Xbox controller for the first time in months, too. So whether you want to hold that against me or not. Screen pass. And Butler. He got nine yards out of that on the screen. So far, it's been the Butler and Gibbons show for the Air Force Falcons. They have not been as good as their counterparts, their service member counterparts. Army and Navy have been the class of college football over the last decade. And you can check out the over at Patreon. Those New Year's Six and count how many times Navy and Army have been in Rose Bowls and Sugar Bowls and national championships. Navy and Georgia had an epic national championship a couple seasons ago. Army, we played Army a couple of times in the Rose Bowl and in the college football playoffs. So it, uh, it's been a wild run for the service academies. Air Force hasn't quite made it there yet, but I mean, they're in the Big 12 now, so... All you got to do is win your conference and be in the top four, and you're there. Cohen gets the first down. Now, one thing we can do with the this, this mod, this Horizons mod, is really cool. You can modify the top 25 and the bowl game. So sometimes we do that. We didn't do it last year. We did it the first year we did the college football playoff because, of course, the game isn't set up for the college football playoff. So what happened was Wisconsin, they were ranked like number 11, and they won the Big Ten, and they were 11-2. and two. And of all the other teams, there was two undefeated teams. We had one loss, Utah, and then there were a bunch of teams with two losses. But the SEC champions, I believe it was Florida, they had three losses. So you had us, you had Army out of the American, and you had Georgia Tech. So... Um, who did that leave out? That left out. I would have left out the Pac-12. Oh, it's Stanford. Yeah, Stanford. I think won the Pac-12 at eight and four, and Florida won the SEC with three losses, and Wisconsin won the Big Ten at eleven and two. And there were a bunch of 11-2 and two teams, or I should say 10-2. and two. There's only one 11-2 and two team. But Wisconsin was ranked number 11. And I was like, well, you know what? That's our, that's our number four seed. That's our college football playoff team because there's no other team that has 11 wins and two losses that has a conference championship. So I was able to go in and manipulate the top 25 and put Wisconsin in the college football playoffs. So we're able to do that. So we'll kind of, you know... Keep observing that as we go along. Uh, we're going to call a timeout because they're going to try to drain the clock. And I know we can get another score in before the half. Absolutely. Oh, and look at that. Now they're going to go for it. Okay. Go ahead and go for it. Let's see how well that works out for you fellas. It will take this one out of the gun. And Gibbons intercepted. Picked off by Porter. I guess that's just as good. As a punt, is it not? Porter's had a couple of interceptions this season. That was a, a terribly thrown pass. I mean, Porter was all over his uh, receiver there. And Gibbons just stuck it right into Porter's hands. So now we got to go fast. We got 53 seconds. Oh, we're getting chased. And Cross just heaves it. And it's caught by Zach Smith. Oh, my goodness. A desperation heave, and man, he kind of heard me talking about, well, Andrew Cross this, Andrew Cross that. I'm telling you, sophomore year compared to freshman year, he wasn't making those throws freshman year. Now, you're still going to see him make some inaccurate throws from time to time. Like, that one was pretty low and inaccurate, but hey, he made it there. But from season one to season two, it is a, a completely different Andrew Cross, at least through the first two games. This is game three. 
things can change once we start playing some of the other Big 12 competition. We'll go ahead and take a time out here. But you were looking at the schedule. The good thing is we don't have Texas on our schedule this year. We don't have Oklahoma on our schedule this year. We uh, only have our big game is against Nebraska. That's our hardest game. So we're avoiding a lot of the Big Ten juggernauts. Although I think uh, Houston is on our schedule. Look at this. Odom, open. I think Houston is on our schedule. And the way they're looking, boy, they could be one of the Big 12 juggernauts. So got to watch out for them. So we have, indeed, just like we were planning, rolled right down the field here on Air Force. Big 12 conference opening week for Big 12 conference play. And it is a touchdown. Andrew Cross to Jerome Perry. And Utah, we're in business, continuing to roll here. Our amazing, epic start to the season. I love it. Season 19, looking for 3-0. We've only allowed 10 points so far. We've not allowed anybody to hit double digits yet. I want to keep that going. It's you can hear the game audio this time. I was going crazy trying to figure it out. And it was something as simple. And I did a million. That's the one frustrating thing with Google. There's so much junk out there. There's so many people that ask the same question. And there's just like so many trash like responses you have to bury through. And finally on a whim today, I found one person that said, oh, if you're on an Xbox, you have to change the audio setting from digital to stereo. And I did that, and we had game audio, folks. It was that simple, and I spent two hours fussing with that yesterday. So go figure that. All right. 22 seconds to go. Air Force with one timeout remaining. Gibbons. Paul Cohen. That's just going to waste more time than it was worth, I'm afraid. Go hurry up. Trying to hang on to that last time out. Maybe what, make a big heave here. Are you going to put a man in motion? That's going to drain all your time. I think this is going to be the last play. Gibbons heaves it up, and it is caught. But, yeah, they wasted a lot of time. Bad clock management by the Air Force team there. And we head into the locker room. Dominating once again. Utah, 21, Air Force, 3. Air Force is lined up for the kickoff. I am streaming on OBS. I could do a little uh, webcam. <laughs> you guys want to see my face? Look at this. Something that I've never done in Madden. A kick return for a touchdown. When is that ever possible in the Madden games? Never. Jason Newton goes 91 yards to kick off. Quarter number three. And we're going to extend our lead. Great blocking. And Newton was to the house. Oh, boy. that was How did that happen? That was terrible. I must have just... Uh, my finger must have slipped. All right. Well, 27 to 3. We'll still take it. That means we got to go for two if we score again. Not if we score again. When we score again. we got to be confident in this. We're number one. Number one in the nation. Gotta keep this thing going. Our defense, man. We love making it rough on these quarterbacks. The game last week, again, if you can, if you want to watch the replay, you got like 30 days, I think, before Twitch deletes it. I'm not uploading it to YouTube because the, the, the stream was just so bad. And I was using Twitch's official, like, program, the Twitch Studio. Now I'm using OBS, which is a million times better. Oh, Gibbons goes down again. But we tormented... The Colorado State quarterback in the last stream. And now we're tormenting Gibbons here. So 
here we go. Big 12 play right here. Looking to go 1-0 and in conference. Third and 16. Pressure's on to Gibbons again, and Gibbons is sacked back to back. David Richard. This is a linebacker sack. And Air Force, well, they started off well. They had over 100 yards in the first quarter. I don't think Colorado State hit 100 yards at all in the last game. We got him real, and it's a pretty weak punt. Newton's going to try to take another one to the house. Not quite, but, I mean, we get down there. Down uh, to the 30. That's the 35. I'm kind of feeling I might be able to do one more game after this. What do you guys think? Do a doubleheader? Two college football games? Wide open touchdown, Zach Smith. And number one continues to roll. Is this nice if you finally get to see one of my teams performing well? We're hoping we can get the Denver Broncos there. We got to go for two. I might do some baseball this weekend. I've been thinking about my Diamondbacks quite a bit. I might do some uh, baseball, so stay tuned for that. Oh, boy. Well, that was a, a two-point conversion disaster. That didn't work out at all. But definitely arena football. If these streams continue to work well, arena football is on the horizons. Love me some arena football. And that's something we're definitely going to be playing here on the channel. I bought a... I have the arena football game on the Xbox. I bought an arena football... I bought... Excuse me. <laughs> I bought a PS2 off of eBay just to play the arena football Road to Glory game because they never made that game for uh, Xbox. It was only on PlayStation. And I didn't own a PS2 or a PS3. So I bought a PS2 just to play that game. So I definitely want to play it with you guys and we'll be uploading that too. the Georgia force you guys loved my original Georgia force series Matt Nagy was the quarterback of the Georgia force he'll be a quarterback in our arena football here intercepted another one by Porter oh my god I don't know what happened there I must have hit the lateral button but turned out to not matter but Steve Porter again he's been everywhere Thank God that uh, wasn't a turnover. See, I'm still remembering all the buttons now. It's been, like I said, it's been a time or two here. But, yeah, definitely arena football coming your way. So stay tuned. If you want to see it sooner, though, if you don't want to wait, you know what to do. Patreon. Become a super fan or mega fan. And you can have arena football stream tomorrow if you want. If you go and become a Patreon, you can say, hey, I want arena football to be played tomorrow. I want arena football to be played this weekend. You can do that over on Patreon, so you don't got to wait for me. That's the, that's the perks of being a, a patron. In addition to the hours and hours, I'm telling you at this point, there's at least, gosh, there's got to be at least 10, 15 hours of bonus content on Patreon alone of just, like, YouTube videos from the Denver Broncos franchise, but there's also stat books up there the utah stat book is up there the wcw ecw alliance original storylines are up there from way back in the day from my high school days those are up on patreon so stuff you can read stuff you can watch and you can request what you want to see on this stream over at patreon so check that out but for now it's bill bradford doing his damage here to the air force falcons I want to get those uh, two points back. I like a nice solid of 42 49. More good blocking and another first down here by Bradford. And it's comforting when you can do this to a conference opponent. This isn't no shove over team now. This is a Big 12 opponent that we're putting a domination on, trying to live up to this number one ranking. Oh, man. See, that's been an issue now. We've let Cross hit 
get hit quite a few times. Our line is not holding. Look at that. that they got to do better than that. Quit letting Andrew Cross get hit. Oh, my God. And he's injured. And there's Coach. Coach is on the field. That's me. Coach TB. Andrew Cross. He got hit one too many times, so he comes out. My goodness. That means the backup is in there. That's Hall. And look at Hall is under pressure. And he just throws it to Zach Smith, who makes the catch. So, Zach Smith having another monster day. He had the big game last week, too, against Colorado State. And hopefully Andrew Cross is okay. Zach, uh, Hall did play a good amount last week, too, in a blowout relief. And my goodness, Bradford goes down, too. He was roughed up last week as well. So our, our running back, our quarterback, we're just going to take the points before anyone else gets hurt. This is, this is terrible, folks. This is terrible. Richardson, field goal is good. 36 to 3. Oh, we got some of those missed extra points back right there with that, huh? Who did that one way back? It's going to take a knee. Pretty one sided. Six for plays. First downs are a little even, but getting them in the yards department and the points department. Gibbons felt the pressure and just threw that one away. We do a good job on making com uh, quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable. That's for sure. A mild concussion. At least it's not going to be long term, but Andrew Cross out for the rest of the game. See if Air Force can take advantage, make a rally. And boy, Gibbons just getting nervous and just chucking the ball out of bounds. He is really uncomfortable back there right now. Southern Miss knocking off Georgia, SEC team beaten another SEC team. And it's going to be intercepted. It's too easy right now. In fact, it's going to be a pick six. Eddie Gibbons right in the hands of Jackson. He took it to the house. Oh, my God. And Bradford's going to be out for a couple weeks. So that's going to be big try to overcome that man our top our quarterback and our running back banged up McPherson booting that one away Lawrence fields it yeah it's been a lot of interceptions a lot of big plays on defense. Back to back again, or three in a row. I mean, my goodness, week one, week two, week three have all been like this. That Bonds, Barry Bonds out there, man. Kent Bonds. Trying to bond this team out, trying to get them out of here. Another completed pass back to back for Gibbons. Got to keep the pressure on Gibbons. Don't let him, don't let him get comfortable back there. He will, he will make you hurt. If you give him enough time, if you make him feel comfortable in the pocket. Bowling Green, look at Bowling Green of the Big Ten. A Big Ten matchup down there. They're putting the heat on number two Northwestern. Now Northwestern. They were trying to make a run at the college football playoff last season. They were top ranked. They ended up uh, not making it. They slipped up. They played Florida in the Sugar Bowl, and they blew out Florida. But uh, Northwestern coming to this one ranked number two, and they're in a fight with uh, their Big Ten rival there. And Steve Porter, the man, he's been everywhere. What year is Porter? I, want, I hope he's... 
We got to keep him around a lot longer. Hopefully he's not a senior. Porter's a, a monster out there. He's a man. He's 40. It's another punt, and this may be one of the final drives. I say if we go down and score, we put the backups in. Because I think it might be all said and done at that point. At least we get to the fourth quarter, but... We got the backup quarterback in. We got the backup running back as well for all the injuries. And Price, though, not a problem for Aaron Price. He's just going to rattle off 12 yards on that carry. I mean, pretty even. If you didn't look at the score, you saw the first downs and everything. It's like, oh, it's a pretty evenly matched game. But Hall going deep. Knocked away, was looking for Zach Smith. Which probably would have put Smith over like 200 yards. If he had made that catch, would have been unbelievable. Completes the pass out to Jerome Perry. We had to get these reps in too, if Hall might be... Uh, I assume Cross will be good to go next week, but Hall's got to get those reps in, too. Back to the ground game, and another poor block. Stop. I mean, we're blocking guys right into our running back. We got to do a little better than that. And that one was underthrown. Hall had a wide open receiver looking to walk into the end zone. Number 82 was wide open, and Hall underthrows it. Come on, that's frustrating. You see a guy, oh, he's making a break. I'm going to throw it, and then he underthrows it. It's like, come on. Gibbons, oh, look at Gibbons. He was able to escape, and... Escape from the pocket, escape from the pressure. Slide down there. Second down and three for the Falcons out of Air Force. Gibbons. Oh, Porter. I think Porter let him have that one. That could have been interception number three. From Steve Porter and Porter's like I'm tired of running these back he just knocked it to the turf Porter said I had enough Butler is going to get the first down all right Time winding down in the third. Gibbons. Intercepted. Thrown into double coverage. And it's another turnover for Air Force. And the fans are not happy. That was a bad throw. That one that was just that was just all bad all the way around. Let's put this one away. Hey, Stanford lost UCLA. All the ranked teams are dropping today. You got Air Force on the ropes here. Hall. Completes it to Jermaine Cox. You ever been to the uh, IHOP down there on Cox Road? Need to go there. Need to go to the IHOP. <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, they hand off to Price. Five seconds, touchdown. And now I think we can pull the starters out.
So here's another feature we mentioned in the last stream that's like, man, I can't believe Madden doesn't have this. How easy would this be? The mass substitutions. Put in the second team offense and defense. Like, it's, how easy is that? I think we've been begging for that in Madden for years, decades at this point, and they won't give it to us. Give it to us, Madden, if there's anybody, any Madden developer, they're just streaming Twitch and they stumble across our channel. Please give us mass substitutions in Madden. Especially since you gave us the freaking Pro Bowl. That's the biggest reason we should have mass substitutions. We want to see the whole Pro Bowl roster. I think I got one more game in me. What do you think, guys? Should we keep it going? Play one more game? I think so. Hey, we got a new follower up to 57. Trying to see who. Uh, it's not really ordered on who followers. But thank you to the new follower that like their stuff enough. Maybe a big Utah fan. And, well, you got the backups in there and still not making it any easier for Gibbons. He goes right down. All right, that's the end of the third. And we continue a third straight week of domination. And I promise, that if I'm lying, I'm flying. This is not, you know, any easy difficulty, anything. You could check all the past scores at Patreon. There's a reason I wanted to keep going, why I didn't want to start all over. Even though we lost all the old footage, the great YouTube purge. Because I wanted to keep playing with this awesome team. I wanted to keep going. 19 years of work. Keep going at it. Gibbons again. just He's had a couple of those throws where he just panics and chucks out of bounds. So the opening two drives for Gibbons were really solid. And as of late, he's just gone right down. Jason Newton, Maria, the big kick return for a touchdown earlier. We gotta, we gotta speed this thing up now. The accelerated game clock. We're killing time now. It's garbage time. Look at that score. Fans have already have already bolted to the parking lot. They're they're tailgating out there. They've had enough. Oof. Well, they're still playing hard though. Air Force says, "I don't care, man. We're still gonna hit." We're still going to hit hard. Strong power. That's the play I just called. That was the play that won us a Heisman with our... Was it Andrew Hayes or Anthony Hayes? Look at that. What a play. First down. And it's going to be the Aaron Price show. The next two games. Well, Bill Bradford's come up injured. And here we're just running the clock out. <laughs> Yesterday, when we did our stream, I went to the the stat book on Patreon, and I pretty much was just reading out who went to the New Year's Six Bowls, who won the different conferences, who won the national titles. Because it was 56 nothing at that point, and we were just in garbage time. Here, we'll just keep riding out, keep playing. I think a couple more runs because we're burning 40 seconds off the clock every time. But I did not expect this much domination to continue. We're three games in so far, and we've only allowed seven points. We've only allowed one touchdown. One touchdown, one field goal. Oh, we got to go for it, right? Fourth and one. Forget about it. Tony D'Angelo, forget about it. The Gabagool, you know? Look at that blocking. First down. Do a little screen just to switch it up. Not running the ball in every play. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, 
Trying to get Hall some reps in there. Well, what do you guys think? You excited? We're bringing college football to you. Third and seven. You have run this clock all the way down, folks. Dude, Jermaine Cox wide open. By the way, we're going. We might get 56 on the board. Doubled him up for the yards. 2 403. 212. Third and four. We got to take one shot at the end zone, right? That's not running up the score, is it? We take an end zone shot here. We'll do the quick slant. We won't even take a real shot. We're just trying to get the first down. If we find our way into the end zone, we get our way into the end zone, you know? Look at that. I can't prevent that. I'm just going for the first down, man. Well, another dominant performance by number one in the nation. Extra point is good. 57 to 3. We won last week 56 0. What was week one? 35 7. Forget about it. I wanna, I'm going to play one more. We're going to do it for you. not let them score though Thirty seconds. All right, the Air Force wants to get those points. Time's ticking on them. Fifteen to go. It's a pride thing at this point. Oh, just run the ball. They've given up. We're going to get through the first three weeks of the season without a single double-digit point total from the defending team. Seven, zero, and three. Well, I say they're going to take one more shot at it, but that's it. Unbelievable. The Utes do it again, and Andrew Cross once again, your player of the game. I love it. We're rolling, folks. Some pictures for you. Maybe one of those will be the thumbnail one day. Oh, not that one of Andrew Cross getting lit up. I don't need none of that. All right. Uh, highlights, yes. We have a whole collection of highlights. We always save all our highlights. So maybe we can do a video. If you want 
that's something you guys can request. We can just do a video of looking at all the old pictures and videos. I try to save the highlights from every single game of the last 19 seasons on here. So that is available to you guys. We're getting some of the other college football streams going on on Twitch. A lot of people streaming the, the college football revamp. That's pretty awesome what those guys did. But I don't have a modded Xbox, and I'm not going to get one because the new game's coming out soon. I don't want to spend all that money on a modded Xbox. But it is very cool what they have uh, done to the game. Make it look. I'm looking at one guy play Coastal Carolina and UTEP. We'll give him some love. Uh, Andrew plays. Looks like a good guy. All right. What do we got next? TCU. That could be an interesting one. That's a team that could put up some numbers, right? See all the people that are streaming college football. They're all playing revamped. A lot of people have got the modded Xbox. Where's my stream on here? Yeah, every single person's playing the revamped game. Except me. Oh my god, am I that far behind? Oh, this guy's playing, uh, like, NCAA 07. That's awesome. Circle City Gamer. Oh, I love it. What a throwback. Check out Cir Circle City Gamer playing college football from, like, 2008. Hey, there's me, TV Sports. Right down there in the, in the college football streams. There's someone playing just regular NCAA 14. TFEN 21. Boise State in Iowa. Seems like a good guy. This is the one part about this game that sucks when you get from week to week. I guess that the game does have to simulate, you know, through however many games. So it takes a while, but boy, it does take a while. All right, we got one more ahead of us. So let's do it. We got TCU. Let's see, did, a, did Northwestern end up getting beaten? Look at the top stories here. Uh, it looks like that Northwestern survived Bowling Green in Big Ten play. Let's do a quick top 25 look. If the college football playoffs were to have started today, we got Utah, Northwestern, Texas, and Iowa. Tennessee, Navy, Georgia Tech, part of the undefeateds here. Georgia Tech, Navy were in the college football playoff a couple of years ago. FIU right there. They want some more love. They're in the ACC 4-0. SMU at 3-0. Penn State way down there at 4-0. USF at 4-0. Central Michigan, Cincinnati in the Big Ten. A lot of Big Ten teams are undefeated. All right. Let's do this. TCU on the road again. And I gotta wear, I love the, the, the 2010s, the Sugar Bowl unis here. Should we go with black, switch it up? Not the helmet. Yeah, we're going black on the road. Back in black. What about TCU? What options they got? The purple, the purple chrome. Ooh. The gray. Nike Pro Combat. Oh, that's the classic right there. I love the Rose Bowl one. I love when teams do that ad. Like, when I go to the Rose Bowl, every time TCU, or pff, every time Utah goes, I always pick the all red uniform. So I love when teams do, like, the little Rose Bowl design there. Um, boy, their unis are playing. I thought it said, like, something at the top, like Horn Frogs or something. That one does. I like those much better than these ones. These ones are just so generic. Um, which one do you guys like? I kind of like those. Well, if you just want to go with the purple, yeah. I think those are the ones to go with. And the pants here. 
TCU, if you guys remember our Troy series, TCU was a huge rival of ours. That was a... It was like Troy and TCU. We played every every year. Let's just do a random pick. One, two, three, stop. Gray pants, purple and gray. I like it. All right, good enough. Um, yeah, Troy and TCU, those were the big rivalries back in the day. We're going to get that Troy stuff uploaded pretty soon to Patreon. But we got TC right here. We're a long ways away. I guess I'm I'm the son of a uh, I'm the son of the the famous Troy coach, right? TB Sports Junior. You can call me. It's Utah. And in fact, we actually did have a job offer early on to go to Troy, and I turned them down, and uh, because I didn't want to just repeat what we had already done. And with the previous administration, I was like, oh, man, that'd be cool to follow in uh, Pops' footsteps. But I gotta, we got to curve, you know, carve out our own path. And, boy, we've done pretty well for ourselves. I think we've, you know, surpassed what we did with uh, the old coach, the old NCAA game, I would dare say. What do you guys think? Because, man, we, uh, three national titles, two Heismans. We, with Troy, we won two... We went to three national title games. We won two of them. We have a chance to do some good stuff here. So here you go. This is the finale. We're going to wrap it up here. Because i got to finish the rest of AEW and get ready for work tomorrow. So, Heads. We win. And we want a kick. Give it to the Frogs. Another Big 12 Conference game. TCU, Utah, underway. The kickoff is down for a touchback. We got on. I didn't even look at the TCU roster. We're just we're just knocking out the games. They got Peterson, Vaughn, Butler, Thomas, Brown. And Tyson. Oh, they got one of these kind of quarterbacks. Okay, one of these option quarterbacks. I'm going to keep that in mind. Will Tyson, quarterback for TCU. We got to have some QB spies. See how easy it is to do a QB spy, unlike in Madden? Just want to point that out. Second down and four. Tyson to Butler. All right. TCU is not going to... I don't think they're going to make it easy on us. Week 4 is going to be a bit of a challenge. I, I can already feel it. We've been we've been blessed these first three weeks with just easy play. I think we have a challenge on our hands right now. Ohio State and Iowa State. There's some big college football playoff implications there. Ohio State, one of the best teams in the league last year. We knocked him off. And off to Peterson, and it will be a first down. I think he just barely got it. He did. First down. Horn Frogs. TCU's marching. We haven't really put any pressure on him. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Peterson broke loose. I say that was our first bit of us slowing them down. Second down and eight. Tyson. Well, he was way off the money on that one. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Fresno continues their winning ways. They knock off USC. Pac-12 play. No pressure. On to Tyson. And they've had no problem so far in this one. 
Are we going to give up our first touchdown since game one? Since week one? Almost a month now since we've given up a touchdown. Well, we're going to try to hold him out of the end zone. Tyson's going to get sacked. David Richard. We saw him make a big play last week. Look at the neck roll. Oh, man. He, he went diving. <laughs> he went diving for Tyson, too. Tyson went down, folks. Oh, I was looking for the interception. Didn't quite get it. Oh, it was right there. The INT. Third and 11. Oh, almost intercepted. Well, there you go. Bend, but don't break. The Utah defense. They will kick the field goal here. Field goal is good. Okay, so Air Force, after we absolutely beat... Look at Gibbons. Look at what we did to Gibbons last week. Look what he did to number six in the country. Are we that far ahead of number six? Texas survives UAB. Ohio State and Iowa still in a fight. And Houston, a week after they beat Ohio State, they have a letdown. They get beaten by Missouri. What an interesting start to the college football season folks my goodness zach smith he uh he's been the go-to guy the last two games and we welcome back andrew cross from his concussion how you feeling bud cross there's smith again zach smith Look at his stats on the year. This is game four. He's got stats like that. Some that's that's a career for some guys right there. You see that Navy score? Navy won, but man, what a bit of a bit of a shocker there. Oh, come on with the underthrow. I hate it. That happened to Madden a lot too. You got the wide open receiver. It's like just hit him. Right there, put some air into that thing, man. You got a touchdown. The give to Price. So it's a bit of a different game plan here. Without Bradford. I thought Notre Dame went down there. We had a pretty successful, we had a home and home with Notre Dame. We had two really good games with them. That's something I try to do too with scheduling. Longtime fans will know that about me that I always schedule, you know, home and homes or two homes. You know, someone comes here twice and then I go there once. It's always a home and home or a two and three that we always do, trying to be like, you know, real college football. So we always have, I think we have, uh, I think we just finished the Colorado State series. That one should be done. But I think we have one more game with Utah State. And then I think we have a. Uh, series with Arkansas. I think we're playing Arkansas this year out of the SEC and then we got, I think, two more against them, maybe, perhaps? Or is it just a home-and-home home coming up, I believe? We'll have to see at the schedule. Stay tuned. First down, Price. And the Utes continuing. We didn't even punt the ball once last week, did we? Ain't going to punt it right now either. Nick Odom. Georgia knocks off Tennessee. That's pretty big right there. Number five going down. Tennessee was in the New Year's Six last season. Second and six. Cross. Oh, got lit up just as he was getting ready to let go of the ball. Cross got dropped. 
Third and six. The Utes. And Smith doesn't hang on to it. Looking like our Broncos dropping passes out there. We got to go for the field goal. Okay, so we're starting off. It's a little similar to the Air Force game. Richardson, his kick is good. That's a cool building back there. We got a 3-3 tie. Both teams opening drives. Points on the board. A couple of field goals down the line. No return on this one. Goodness, the sleep's starting to hit me a little bit now. Almost 11, 11 p.m. I still got to finish AEW the last hour. I left off right, uh, I don't want to give any spoilers, but I left off right after the Hangman Page interview in the ring. Oh, come on. Jason Lyles, yeah. Should have had that one. One thing I hope they change. You see the patch still says Pac-12. You obviously see they put the conference logo on the field, which is very cool that they do that. But it's too bad they couldn't get the patches on the uniforms changed as well. That kind of sticks out. Peterson got 16 on the halfback screen. Pump fake. And going deep. Knocked away. Jason Lyles again. We still have not given up a touchdown. It's been at least, what, 11 quarters? I, th I believe the touchdown was really early on. So it's been at least 11 quarters. And Tyson runs it and... Nothing happening there for him. Only one yard for Tyson. Third down and nine. Tyson out of the gun. Knocked away. Lyles again. Three times, Lyles. Was in, hey, he was making up for the fact that he didn't get that interception. He said, you know what? I didn't pick the ball off, so I got you on the next couple of plays. And he did. He did get us. Nicely done. Newton didn't let that one go. He probably could have fielded it, but okay. He went, went into the end zone. I respect that. Three, three. Play action. Cross is going to heave it to Baldwin and it's incomplete. Maybe we could have tried to pull the trigger on B out there, but I don't know. I didn't, didn't trust it. He didn't trust it. No one trusted it, so we just, we just didn't. Big run by Price, and that's going to be a first down. We got to maybe trust Price a little bit more. We haven't been running the ball as much since Bradford has been out, but maybe we got to trust him. TC holding us in check so far, at least defensive-wise. Draw play. And Price only good for one that, one, that time. Coach Tradamus. Watch for the cover three. You see that? Oh my god, just barely got rid of it. But at least we can throw in completions that way in Madden. That would have been a sack. That would have been an absolute sack in Madden. But here you can actually throw the ball and it go incomplete. Which is nice. Incomplete. Cross could not connect. 
I think he was looking for Odom on that play. 4-10 for Andrew Cross. The concussion. Maybe he's not 100%. So TCU defense got us uh, got us staggered a little bit. a nice play. That was a couple of fakes and then the option and the pitch. There's all kinds of manipulation right there. Uh oh, we got an upset alert. What's happening? Northwestern again. This is another Big Ten battle. Top 25 Big Ten battle. Cincinnati Northwestern. Cincinnati is in the Big Ten. Tyson, another first down. Man, we're going to end the first quarter for the first time in a long time in a tight contest here. How about that? We, we kind of we said we we're expecting a dogfight here. Now we're getting into conference play. Oh, boy. Peterson. Richard Peterson for 29. Does that take us to the, uh, no, they get to run one more. Nope, that is going to wind it down. Clock stopped for them to set the chains. They might get one more play. They do. Oh, and Fowler. Oh, Fowler was untouched and walked right in and took down Will Tyson. 3-3. Three, three. Big 12 action, Utah Utes. TCU Horn Frogs. Second and 15 for the Frogs. Pressure coming again. He gets it away to Peterson. We got to figure out a way to slow down Peterson. He's really eating this up. Richard Peterson, man. He's dominating us right now. And Tyson hangs on to it on the QB option. He got seven yards there. Well, our uh, our streak might be coming to an end here. If they get a touchdown and they get the extra point, that'll be the first time a team has scored double-digit points against us. And it comes in week four. But let's see if we can hold them. Do a field goal. We try with all our might. Seven is the most that anyone scored against us. It was Utah State. And there it is. It's nine. It's going to be ten. TCU's sticking it to us right now. We're resting our laurels a little bit after those first three games. 10 points, the first 10 points that have been put on the Utah Utes all year long. There you see Tennessee losing to Georgia. First loss of the year. The Bulldogs taking down the Volunteers. And Newton doesn't get back up to the 20. He got tackled about the 15, the 16. Well, they'll mark them. So we got some work to do. This uh, this TCU team is tough. Let's let's get at it. All the designs of an upset. It's 11 at night. I'm tired. They're putting it to us. It ain't gonna be a cakewalk, folks. That's a nice run by Price. Down. 
Good blocking there. The juking's not as good as this in Madden, though. I can't get any of these jukes to go. <laughs> so let's see one, one compliment for Madden there. The Madden games. Cross had to just find time and eventually got it to Jerome Perry, 14. Come on, Andrew Cross. You came to this team to win titles. We were going to retire. We were going to retire, pick a new team, and you coming in is what made me go, all right, let's give it like three or four more seasons. Oh, Smith. Zach Smith doesn't go down. He wants to have another 100-yard game. Cross back up to 500. Those latest completions. Six of 12. See, I could have easily retired and, and did indeed start all over, but what would have been the point? I would have played three or four years and the new game would have been coming out. So let's just finish this one out and then go to the new game. And boy, if we all hate the new game, then we'll come back to this. <laughs> we'll come back to the 360 and just play this to our heart's content. Nice. Oh, come on. That was a perfect pass. And Newton doesn't hang on to it. Oh, my God. I hate that more than anything. The drop passes. It's like right on the money. Boy, this is a big third down. Nice. Cross to Nick Odom. And Cross isn't a mobile quarterback, so the fact that he rolled out to make that play happen was big business. Passing it. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Brian Baldwin. Falling one yard shy of the end zone. Touchdown, Tom Smith. So Tom Smith, what a generic name for a running back. Yes, legendary running back, Tom Smith. Hey, you got us a touchdown. 10-10, I mean, this is, a, this is a fight now. This is the biggest fight we've been in all season. Not the big blowout. I wish that Utah was a little bigger. On the chest there. Make it big, Utah. Really big there. Really big shoe. Really big. Really big shoe. Another completed pass there. First and ten. Back up. Option. Ooh, that one was almost a disaster for TCU. That almost was really bad. That's what we need. We need a big turnover. We haven't gotten that yet out of our guys. Not in this one yet. We've had a million of them in the first couple of games. Tyson. Oh, man, no pressure, finally. His, his own lineman tackled him. Man. Tyson, had, yeah, his own offensive lineman tackled him down. That's frustrating if you're a Frogs fan. See that happen. 
Can we finally get a defensive stop here? And we will. Knocked away Ben Jackson. And we got a chance to take the lead here. The end of the second. Good, good return, Newton. There you go. Ah, decent. Got there some passes here. A lot of passes. 314. Austin 316. Cox for two. Sorry, right, Andrew Cross. You're the man. The man for the job here. A little play action. Something you can actually do a little more in this game, too. In Madden, it's not really all that successful. In this game, you actually do have the chance to do the play fake and still set up for a pass like this. Only that one was severely underthrown again. Jesus. Right? Like, that's not just me. Like, and that's what I'm talking about with Cross. Oh, like, come on. I don't know. You guys tell me, did I misread this one, or? Look at how open he is. That's when I threw the ball. Man, I feel like if the ball goes here, right here, not here. Oh, my God, I cannot control this thing. If the ball is here, that's a touchdown. Instead, look at where the ball went. It was like thrown behind him. Instead of it, instead of him going diagonal, the ball went, yeah. I, I put that on Andrew Cross because that should have been a diagonal throw. And that's a touchdown. Instead, he throws it behind the receiver and then it gets picked off. So, boy, now you're, we're right back to square one here. This is the biggest fight we have faced. Number one. Crushing Will Tyson. We always have these games too every year. I knew I couldn't get too excited with those first three games, how how great we had played, but man, we always have this game where we slip up. We had the, the famous 12 and 1 season where Arizona got us. We've had a couple of seasons where we just had that, that one loss that messed us up. The old Dominion loss that got us. We had Troy a couple seasons ago that got us. UCF. They beat us. The terrible Nebraska game week one. Like, what the heck was that? The one in Denver. Two oh four. First down. Oh, my God, and he's still going. Still going. Landon Thomas. I don't even want to see that again. That was terrible. What's happening out there? We are we are struggling now all of a sudden. This is not the team from the first three weeks. We got to keep the pressure up. Peterson. Maybe that's the reason. Look at the, look at the suit coach is wearing. I just got a t-shirt on. All right, here comes our defense. If we can at least hold him to a field goal, that would be good. Field goal would not be terrible. Tyson, pressured. Unbelievable. Touchdown, TCU. Well, not a whole lot to say. TC is taking it to us right now. We got to have a big second half.
Well, we got a minute 25. Well, this is severely disappointing in the official, I guess unofficial official stream one, even though we already streamed this yesterday and the, the footage was terrible. Boy, I would hate to lose our undefeated season <laughs> just like this, right? Um, Cross is, boy, oh boy. It's certainly going the way of an upset. What was TC's record? Was it two and one or something? We are certainly going the right way for an upset in this one. Oh my God, come on. We got open guys and they're not making plays. This is not the same team. Now they want us to run the ball. What is this garbledy gook? Hey, we're running the ball. Third and 19. <sighs> Again, it's nice that that's actually an incompletion. Because in Madden, that would have been just a sack. This is bad. This is getting bad, guys. We definitely got to get a, a, a wake-up call in the second half. Johnson and Jackson. Jackson the Johnson. All right, we got to hold them right here at least. No more points. We'll get the ball to begin the second half. But we got to wake up. Where's this defense? Where's the INTs? Where's the pressure on the quarterback here? Tyson's way too comfortable in the pocket. That should have been a touchdown. If Tyson would have been a little more on the money, Ben Jackson, you need to cover your guy a little better. That easily could have been a touchdown. Almost intercepted. Yeah, number 40. He's been there a few times. We've already seen him do his work. Okay, this would be a big three and out. And we'd actually still have some time if we wanted to try to make a rally here. Uh, let's get some pressure on Tyson. Come on. Ooh, I thought he caught that. My goodness. Three and out, though. That's big. And I'm, saying, now I'm starting to get nervous here. I thought... Oh, we'll play one more. It'll be another easy win. I can just relax. Forget it. You can never relax in college football. You never know who's going to show up on any given day. That's why I hate when they say, oh, this team would never beat this team. This team should never. Anybody, any team can always beat any other. Now, yes, if you put Team A and Team B, you know, SEC team against Sunbelt team, 99 out of 100 times, yeah, the SEC team's probably going to win. But they're going to get beat one of these days. Any team, I've seen it a million times in college football, any team can beat any other team on any given day. Heck, Troy should have beat South Carolina this year. They had that crazy call, the fumble that went against them. Go ahead and keep leaving our guys wide open. North Carolina. Kenny Omega. So 22 seconds. We still got two of our timeouts. It would be really big if we can at least get some kind of points, even if it's a field goal. Oh, I was trying to I was trying to get the defender to rush up. It didn't work. It didn't work in my favor. I don't even know what, what's a good play here. Just go four verticals, right not? Just keep throwing it deep. brought the blitz we read that one go ahead and take a timeout so we got 14 seconds we can take a couple of shots at the end zone here it'd be big business if we can score absolutely
Touchdown. Yes. That's big. Zach Smith, Mr. MVP. That's huge. And we get the ball to begin the second half. That could be the play that turns this thing around. If we just if we can go down and score to begin the second half, we can hold them up. Oof. You get nervous, folks, or is it just me? All right. Ten seconds. Uh, we'll go cover three. And they are just going to run it. All right, second half. We got to get this thing situated here. Did someone call a timeout? No, they didn't. Okay, the clock stopped for whatever reason. Seventeen, seventeen. This is the biggest battle we've been in all season. 17 points is the most. We gave up a total of 10 points, a field goal, a touchdown in the first three weeks. We've already given up more than that in one half here to TCU. 17, our biggest deficit so far. But this is a big drive right now. Big time, big business drive right here. I think uh, a, a lot of running, if we can have a successful running game, too, to help drain some of the clock. Because in these close battles, you don't want there to be a million seconds left on the clock as well. So we got to keep that in mind. And we're playing with our backup running back in there. Now cross through that one into traffic. So quickly, it's third and six on this... I feel like a pretty important drive. Oh, pass interference. Folks. Folks. Pass interference. How did that net get called? Well, our uh, halftime pep talk obviously didn't work too well. Can't believe that. Okay, well, got to regroup here. Not over yet. Still a lot of football left. Unfortunately for me, who might have made a mistake during the second game. Who's about to pass out and fall asleep. Woo. Option. Peterson. Oh my god, this guy's incredible. How do we let him get away in the recruiting trail? Golly, he cannot be stopped. He's like a I watched a NFL throwback. I often talk about one of my favorite YouTube channels. I watched the Troy Palomalu 20 minute highlights. That dude was amazing. I don't think he gets enough like respect. Like, I mean he's one of the probably one of the greatest defensive players like oh my god some of the plays he made anyway i say that to say that peterson there the way he's knocking blockers off and tacklers he kind of looks like a troy palomalu out there just knocking guys away screen pass oh big loss of that's what i'm talking about just push the defender backwards and make him lose yards that's perfect that's perfect
Third and ten. Tyson. Knocked away. To Rye Bonner. All right, defense. Now we got to get our offense to go. Oh, they're going to fake it. What a disaster that is. We'll take the gifted field position. That is the kind of play also that can spin a game. I don't know about that play call right there. We'll take it, though. We won't complain. We'll take the ball at the 45. Go ahead. Incomplete. Not a lot of options for cross. This is some of the stuff we were seeing as freshman year. Get these long runs of just incompletions and... There we go. Okay, Odom. Go ahead, Odom. Maybe it's the black uniforms. We should have stuck with our classic red. Switch it up for the TCU game, but... Ain't working for us. Get rid of those unis and burn them. That was a good play by Andrew Cross. And Jerome Perry across the middle. Fifteen to twenty-nine, two fifty-five for Cross so far. Give the prize, Price trying to get around. Not happening. Forty-three yards on the ground for Price. Double goes. That's what we're doing right here. And the second go got it. Nick Odom. And the Utes are in business here. Price. Nope. Stop. Second and goal. Bring an empty set. Got to get a touchdown here. Price. Or excuse me, that's Cox. Cross the Cox, cross the Cox. It was a, a, you couldn't get a more picture perfect throw than that. It was a tight window and cross. Oh my God, in between two horned frogs. Made it happen and number one in the nation is back on top. Finally, we get some pressure on Tyson. That's what we've been waiting for all game long. Big time. More of that. Tyson's going to scramble. And now we're starting to put a little bit of heat on him. One more big stop. Should we blitz him? Should we... Black five, black five. 
knocked away. Not an interception. I would like Lyles to get one of those. But we'll take the knockdowns. And this is big because now we can go up by two scores. We can finally put a little bit of distance between us and TCU. Look at the blocking. Look at Newton. What a return by Newton up to the 40. Take a shot right now. Pressure's coming. We just uh, threw that one away. We're running a whole lot of room there. All right. We got to get this one. Two scores would be big. Oh my god. Cross has been beat up a lot today. All right. Well. Third and 18. Well, who's open? Underthrown. Had a, had a receiver in the distance there. That's a lot of the stuff we were seeing from Cross. I mean, look at that. Number 12 is open in the back. Oh, but he's underthrowing these. That's what's killing us. It was killing us last year. It's killing us now. Killing us on the RXFL. The underthrows, man. And TCU has more life. The upset bid. Number one in the nation on the road. We've seen it happen. All the scores the first three weeks. Now it's our turn. The closest game we've been in all year. Option. Tyson keeps it. Probably should have handed that one off. Another option, Tyson again. Oh, it's a fumble, but TCU gets it. Darn it. Oh, that's twice that Tyson probably should have given it up, and he didn't. And we're going to give you up. All right, third and ten. Tyson, fumble. No, incomplete. Oof. All right. Well, we held him again. At least in the second half, we haven't let him get any points on the board. So this is more like the defense we've seen throughout the first couple of weeks. Minute 19 in the third. Price, nothing. It's definitely hurt not having a strong running game. You take Bill Bradford out of the mix. Price hasn't really been lights out, and we've had to put a lot more reliance on Cross. And you know, it is what it is. A quick pass out to Jason Newton. Third and five for Utah Utes. Good catch by Perry. I was worried he was going to drop it. Maybe we get one more playoff, and that'll take us to the fourth quarter, folks. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time for one more play. Connects with Nick Odom.
All right, we go to the fourth. Number one in the nation is clinging to a seven-point lead. Old Mountain West rivals together in the Big 12. Utah, TCU, 24-17. First down, Utah. You're going to see the best of the best of the Mountain West. You know, the original Mountain West days, TCU, Utah. Air Force, Houston. Along with all these Big 12 teams. Okay, Johnson made a big break on that a little faster than I thought he was going to get there. Still got 100 more yards than him. Oh, come on. Put it up a little higher, Cross. Third and ten. Cross, who's not a mobile quarterback, is just going to run it and pick up the first down. Concussion and all. He gets the first down on the ground. The kid wants it, that's for sure. Draw play to Price. Negative two. Even a field goal, at least we can get a two score lead would be ideal. Play fake. And Cross just gonna run it. Takes a hit out of bounds. I would dare say we're in field goal range now. Oh, fullback dive. Yeah, I love my fullback handoffs. And we get the first down. That's perfect. Let's try to run some more clock out, even if we have to get a field goal. I'm okay with that. Two score lead. Let that, let's put the pressure on them. Tom Smith, the great Tom Smith back in there. That makes it second and six. Are we getting too conservative or not? I mean, we're in field goal range. I don't think we'll probably make it. I'd rather get some of this time off the clock. You know, get an extra two minutes to drain. Shoot, now we can run it a third time, almost say. Get another 40 to come down. There it is. First down. We can get even more time. This is big business, folks. That's why we're number one. We're number one. We're number one. Smitty Worgen worked to Jensen. He was number one. And so is the Utah Utes. Tom Smith. Tom McGee at. Oh, another big run. Every time it's like, okay, I got to start throwing it. Our guys come up with another big run. Boy, if we can drain this clock all the way down and get a touchdown run out of it, that would be even bigger business here. I was just going you know, to set up for the field goal, but we get a touchdown out of it? Come on, forget about it. Oh! We got to kick the field goal. 
go up by 10, give the ball back to them with about two minutes. They got scored twice. Forget about it. I'm talking like Tony D'Angelo. How about a little eight? Oh my god. He barely made that field goal. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh my god. And Northwestern, number two, has fallen. Cincinnati moves to 5-0. and oh. You would think they got to move up in the rankings now. 25, put them at number two. I say you beat number two, you get their spot. My spot, dog spot, liver spot, his spot, my spot. They should get that spot. Number two. Spot number two. Absolutely. All right. We got the 10-point lead now. I'm feeling a little more comfortable with this. I still, you know... Didn't like that our trend of blowouts stopped. I wanted to keep that going, but, you know, we got what we got. You get what you get. You always do what you always did, then you always get what you always got. Okay. Keep doing that some more, Tyson. Tyson's had a big game. He's only got 166, though, through the air. Feels like it's been a lot more. And Tyson's going to take off, and he's going to get the first down. Here we go. Hurry up now. Two minutes. Tyson has a wide open. You got to be kidding me. Tyson got drilled. Let go of the football. Found a wide open receiver for the score. And the pressure is back on Utah. Now they have all three timeouts. They don't got to go for the onside kick. Oh my God. That was a brutal play. How can we be so good all year on defense and fall apart here? They are going to go for the onside kick. I'm not even in the right formation. I can't even change it. But we get it back anyway. My goodness. I would expect them to kick it deep with all three timeouts. They want us to run it. Let's keep running it. We'll see. If they stop us here, I'm going to have to throw it. If we get a big run. That was a decent run. Oh man, I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a lot more nervous now. It's a whole different ball game. One first down though, and it's a whole different ball game. Oh, oh, yes. That's big. That is big right there. Unbelievable. That's big. Now we can really just keep running the ball. I take back what I said. Our running game ended up winning it for us here. One more run, even if we don't get the first down. I say we kick a field goal. We'll get the ball back with a minute. There it is. That's the game clincher, folks. Number one in the nation. TCU going down. Unbelievable. We survive it. I think we got to run one more play. There it is. Woo! Not all blowouts, folks. You thought you were just going to see all blowouts. No, sir. They put a fight in. Didn't I say that at the beginning of this game? I said I, I, I can feel it. Sometimes games feel weird. Like you go into a game that you know you should win, but it's like it feels like a weird game. feels like a weird day. 
This felt like that game. It just felt like it was going to be a fight, and it did end up being a big fight. Credit to TCU. They made us work for it, folks. The way it was looking like, we were just going to cruise into the college football playoff. We only beat them by three. So there you go. Well, folks... I think that'll do it for tonight. Thank you so much. I'm glad we were finally able to get this to work. We're going to definitely be bringing you a lot more college football now that this is working. We got arena football on the horizon. I know you guys loved my Blitz the League series from before. Maybe we can bring that again. But this opens up everything. We can we play more Switch games, 360 games. Whatever you guys want to see. Again, check it out. Request it. Patreon. TV Sports over there. Um, I don't think there's too much to see as far as standings in uh, top 25. So, tell you what, it's a little bit of a teaser. We'll wait and let you see that next time. So, we're going to end this stream now. Thank you guys for joining us so much for college football. And we'll see you guys next time.